Good morning. I'm here with the last in the set. We have Pet Parlor from the Cindy Play range. Now this one's a little bit extra special for me anyway, because I was sent this as a gift from Kid Creations for some of the work I've been doing on the reviews, etc. So thank you so much for this. I think she's absolutely adorable. Now, as you can see, she's got a few extra accessories. So she's quite a nice one, this one. And if you've got somebody in the family, particularly who likes animals and pets, this is a great one because you've got the pet accessories there. So apart from opening this, there was a couple of other things I wanted to mention. So I'm going to pop her down for a second. Go on to the cindyplay.com website if you've not already done it pop on there because there's a lot of fun things to do child and adult alike i've printed off a couple of things so if you've got somebody in the family who likes coloring there's these gorgeous images of the girls so it's just the outlines outlines even so uh, you can color them in so i think they're great i've printed them off for a certain somebody later so she doesn't know about that so i'm going to pass them over um she's desperate for one of the dolls at the minute and we keep telling her that she's got to wait for father christmas so I feel a little bit mean really because i've got the set but i'm sure father christmas is going to manage to sort something out there so uh, if you are buying and wanting father christmas to collect them and take them away ready for christmas i think you need to think about it now because i do know the dolls have been selling quite quickly and in some areas some of them are actually not available now um, they might do more I, I don't know I don't know I suppose it depends on how the general sales go before more are actually put out there but yes it is nearly that time Christmas is coming very fast so we need to start thinking about it now the other thing that you can actually get on here is other principles like this now I just printed off two examples so we've got like a nutcracker one so i think you can guess that that is our ballerinas and um, blogger has these sort of party type images now these are a bit of fun you can print them off stick them on card put them out do with whatever each doll has an their own sort of printable range and there's not just these there are backgrounds there's other things on there as well but i just thought i'll print these two off just to show you that they do print quite nicely as well so again another bit of fun and activity if you like your crafting I think it's a fabulous thing and the last one that I actually printed off was this one now there are more than these and these are just examples and it's this now I thought this was brilliant this is a cover for your pony I'm going to call him a pony because he is a little bit smaller isn't he and so I'm going to call him a pony so this is a lovely cover pattern that will fit him I think this would be great you could do it in something simple as felt decorate it up again child and adult alike i think it's an easy enough pattern for anybody to have a go at um, i'll be keeping that pattern again i need to keep it to one side um and we'll probably be making some little covers i think i am gonna actually do it in felt i think felt would be a great medium because it's not going to fray or anything like that and again it looks like a bit like a blanket so i think felt would be great so this is another one of the principles. So just go over there, have a look. There's all sorts. Again, if you want backgrounds for taking photographs of your dolls, there's them, those you can print off as well. And just general activities. I just think it's a very fun page. And I think probably they're going to add to it as they go on. So I'm going to pop that down. Now, the final thing I wanted to comment on, which is something I very briefly hit on, is the artwork. I commented how gorgeous this artwork is. I mean, this is the back, for example, of our pet parlor girl here be kind yes important be kind we should all be kind it'd be a much nicer place if we were but again you look at the bottom of these beautiful images of the girls here now the artist is rachel godfrey and i wanted to give a shout out to her because her artwork is so gorgeous i was lucky enough to meet her a few times at dollycon and i'm hoping that she's going to be there this year i think she is um everyone's going <laughs> to she's probably going to get bombarded with people saying thank you because she is part of sorting all this out she's one of the people who have been involved with the creation of these dolls so that is really really special but i just wanted to mention this gorgeous artwork so you'll see you know like your scenery inside here and everything and the covers and she's done all of the artwork so it's absolutely stunning so thank you very much rachel for that hope she's listening she just know that i was going to give her a shout out on there oh i've just shut the camera so what we're going to do now is a top down view of the doll opening have a good look at her and see what you think i'm not even going to doubt the quality i know i had my strange scenario where my uh, one girl has two right hands 
but I know I mentioned before I don't really mind and I'm not even going to ask for it to sort of be changed it makes her quite unique so I'm going to leave her with her two right hands um, it makes her special it makes her more mine than anybody else's so that is how I'm going to leave it so we're going to get on to this now so give me two seconds I'm going to turn that camera top down and we'll have a little peek at this gorgeous gorgeous girl her hair looks amazing doesn't it it's more like a white blonde this one so I will see you in a second well here she is our pet parlor beauty now obviously I can get into these a little bit quicker now I've worked it out so I did mention it says be kind on the box and I think that is a marvelous message to be sending out to adults and children alike I've said that a lot today I'm to adults and children alike now I'm not going to pull this off as I mentioned the other day because it made my paper go bobbly so in fact I didn't do that I say I'm easier getting in the box I'm not I'm, not, I'm just as clumsy right that's the way I was going to do it wasn't it and then there we go and then there's a little bit of a tag at the bottom there that was easy so i concentrate you can just see the corner of my son's 3d printer it's acquired my desk again but i have asked him to try and do me some uh, wellingtons for the doll it's a pattern i got from beth ramsden who has a youtube channel and a website she made some gorgeous things um so i got this little free wellington pattern but his 3D printer was playing up. So at the moment it's not happened. But he thinks he's sorted it. And it's sat there. So I can't move it really, can I, when I've asked him to make it. Right, any more, any more, any more. There shouldn't be, should there? There was only two last time. So now we have to separate this carefully. Because as you can see, I'm trying. There we go. So I've separated it. You can see where those little tags are. And we're going to open it up. Make sure it'll bend. There we go. So here we are, this is the box. As we can see, we have, like the others, it's a little little shop. Oh, well, it's not a shop, is it? It's like a beauty parlor for animals, perhaps. Oh, I don't think it's an actual pet shop, is it? It's a pet parlor, so it's sort of making sure they all look nice and smart. So we've got our front door and our flowers outside. So we've got some little animals here. And again, there's the floor in the lighting. It's all gorgeous. And then we need to get this girl out. So let's have a look what we've got in the box first, though. So hit with this is a cutout. What have we got a cutout for here? We've got dog biscuits on it. This is the grooming table. And again, as I've mentioned, great quality because it's both sides. And I just thought I don't like that light from there. Is it okay? It's reflecting. I'll pop it in there because it's reflecting quite badly. And then we have an insert here, which I'll have a look. But we have this cute area here. A little doggy having a bath there. I mean, the backgrounds, they're just lovely. It's so detailed and so fun and bright and colourful. And I just think they're wonderful. And this is the other half, which you can have on here, like I've been doing. Or it is designed so you can cut out some other item. Um, there's a fun one on the page for this. It's just like a little, little pen that you can cut out and make for the pets, which is quite sweet. Obviously, we have an open and close sign. Um, a little box for carrying, perhaps. Is it carrying for the pets? I'm not sure. This doesn't look like a pet one, does it? It might be to buy. It does say pet carrier. It does say pet carrier. If I read it, it would help, wouldn't it? And um, we have grooming table shelves. So these are all the items that would go together. But, as you know, what I've been doing is, because I, I don't really want to make those, I've just been popping these in here, like so. And I've, it's been making like a display for photographs for me. I mean, we've got some little, little perhaps they dog tags perhaps down there or with S's on for Cindy. And I've been using them more for sort of photos, which I will do later today when I take a photo of her. I know this little bit is here, but I just stood the doll in front of it. Or you just make up one of the items and pop it there as well. So you can decorate it up as you want. So that's the box, which is gorgeous, as we know. But I'm going to move the box slightly to one side and we need to get in here. I nearly did it. I nearly forgot to cut the sellotape, but I didn't. On the last one, I actually remembered I needed to cut the sellotape before I took the top off. Now, there won't be any reflection now when I've got rid of this. I can't throw this on the dog bed because the cat is on it, as per usual. So I'm just going to drop that plastic to one side. We'll just take everything out first. I love the fact that I've not got to fight with lots of silly tags in here. Um, it just shows that they don't really need as many tiny bits. There's still quite a bit of plastic in here, um, but at least there's not all those tiny tags. There's a little dog bone there. This is making a noise, isn't it? Let me get this out. 
We have a little brush. We have a little pet bowl. Well, they're in here tight. Um, I'm going to turn this over and push it through that way. Will it come out? Come on, dog bone. It's making an awful lot of noise. There we go. I've got it. I've got it. So we'll look at accessories first. I know you want to look at her, but we'll look at the accessories. So we have a little dog bone or... Oh, there will be a dog bone, cats don't really eat bones, so the, the dish can be for any animal. We have a little brush here, and we have two adorable little animals. We have a little puppy, is he so cute? And we also, I'll actually, I like the rabbit, just look at that rabbit's face, <laughs> that's just so cute. So we've got a little sort of bunny and puppy there, so they're nice. And there's something in here, so we have a pet carrier, but what have we got? We open it up, if we can, there we go. And there is, again, a little bit of plastic just holding this little guy in. So I'll leave that bit of plastic in. But we've got a kitty! Yay! We got kitties. Oh, I dropped it everywhere. So this is a really nice, solid little box as well. And I know previously my grandchildren have loved it when you get, like, these little pet carriers with animals in. So I think that is really adorable. We have a little bed. Who should we pop in the bed? Uh, the puppy, I think. The puppy can go in the bed. And the little booklet that we get with all of them, which is quizzes, puzzles and crafts. Look, we're a little bits and showing you sort of how to make that, put that together. A little design challenge. We have some quizzes and word searches. And again, that, oh, that teaser regarding these outfits and a little bit about all the girls that are in there. So I think that they're amazing. I do really like those. So we need to get on to the main event, don't we? So I'll move them to one side. And here she is. Is she not pretty? She is gorgeous. And look at these locks. Now, out of plat, they're going to take some looking after. I will probably be leaving them in their plaits. But even though they are plaits, they are still properly sort of rooted there. Sometimes you'll get dolls, won't you? And they've got ponytails or something like that. And that's almost hiding the fact they've got no hair. But she has got the hair. You'll be glad to know in that respect. And as it's a whitey sort of blonde, it is quite light. She has the blue eyes. She's got these pretty blue eyes there and a pale pink lip. Obviously, we've looked at the bodies. If you're wanting to know more details regarding the bodies, if you pop back onto my first one um, where I did Fashion Blogger, you will see that I've compared the bodies a little bit. All right, let's get that tiny bit there. I was just holding her plait in place. I'll put that to one side. She's got these cute dungarees. I do like her outfit a lot. So she has dungarees that are just Velcroed at the back so they're easy to slip off. We'll just partially slip it off. We don't need to undress her completely. And then she's got this cute little t-shirt with our little stripes following the same sort of colour scheme. And again, we've got these lovely little tags that show, obviously, that it's a Cindy product. But these are really nice details. You know, these are quality details. And just a little bit of Velcro up the back there. So let's just pull your dungarees back up, missus. What am I doing? There we go. Just fasten that little bit at the back. For her feet, she's got some like little trainers. I would say they're trainers. They are trainers, aren't they? So trainers with no socks and little turn-ups on her jeans, which do they come down? Can we unturn them up? Possibly. Nope, they're just slightly stitched. Just a little stitch there. But they're meant to be turned up, aren't they? That's sort of the cute look of her. Um, Not much more to say. She has the articulation. She actually has... The right and the left hand so we don't have a problem with that bless her um she's lovely as the others are i can't wait to put them all together um i say i've got to sort of hide some because people will want them early and as i said we've got a father christmas list so we need to sort that out but these dolls are gorgeous. I can't say any more. Everybody has loved them that have mentioned them. They've all mentioned how good quality they are. They are such a good price for what they are. I know some people, I mean, the basic one's £20, isn't it? And some people have gone, oh, I know I've mentioned this before, but people are going, oh, you can get Barbies for £8, £10. You can, but they're not, no movement in them. They're just the basic fashionistas. As soon as you get onto a doll that has articulation, has movement, has accessories, you're not going to get much change out of between 20 30 pound those are the prices so i think these are bang in the middle as far as prices are concerned 
so i'm absolutely over the moon with her i will grab the others and it's sort of extra special because she was a little gift as well wasn't she so let's move those bits and bobs over there we'll pop you there missus and then who should we bring in next there we go so we have our pony rider there we have our fashion blogger which has got the most amazing hair known to man we have our stylist we have our sweet treats and we have our very beautiful little ballerina on the end there wow am i a lucky person yes i am um i knew well in advance they were sort of coming out so it was something i'd sort of planned for like a lot of us we knew there were hints about them so i suspect most people within the doll sort of arena that collect these were saving before they even happened but i do believe they are a very good price so at least that wasn't so bad again final comparison to the collector's ones some people saying always oh, they've not got the collector's ones because these are just as good they are just as good in one respect they definitely the quality and everything the hair they are gorgeous they don't have the head movement that they do you do for your collectors they don't have the details like the earrings the jewelry the accessories in the they have shoes fair enough but they are plastic molded shoes because they are fashion dolls they are toys that is what they're meant to be like whereas your collectors they are stitched shoes the handbags are stitched their detail it's a big price difference i know but i do think that their detail and their boxing and their packaging do make up for that so don't be put off getting those collector's ones because they are gorgeous um i absolutely love mine um i know i got mine part for sort of birthday presents off people christmas presents off people um it's timed well for me for both times because this time it's time to around my birthday as well so i've been able to sort of shuffle things around that's how i've got some of them apart from obviously i've got my lovely gift there from kid creations so definitely get them the only shame is the fact that you're not able to get them abroad at the moment i know some people have been getting them for people which is fabulous do make sure when you are posting that you do get sort of proof of postage etc etc um and some countries can be quite expensive to post to so be careful of that as well but it doesn't look like there's any sign of them being sold out of the uk at the moment i'd like to think at some point because you know we want cindy to grow don't we we want everybody to want cindy so if that's going to be the case she's going to have to go out somewhere to the sort of international buyers so that's it for now i've finished my cindy collection my play range cindy collection and i love her so much i need to find a shelf for her now that is the only problem i don't have a shelf for cindy oh dear perhaps i'm going to have to get another one oh god my walls are gonna fall down soon it's like i just don't know where to put anything in here i know my husband was looking the other day and he says well, what about above the window I'm like, oh dear. there's gonna be shelving everywhere in fact i'm just looking above the window now that might be the premium spot for them that might be the case good job these walls are solid that's all i can say but anyway thank you so so much for watching my videos on the girls i hope you've enjoyed them if you've not seen the others obviously there's the links there go and have a look if you enjoy my videos please like subscribe and share it does make a difference to us youtubers pop a comment on there that also helps it's great to see comments love to hear from people i try and make sure i get back to everyone sometimes youtube have this strange thing where they get rid of their comments and you can't find them anywhere um but generally the comments are there and i do answer them i'm hoping this filming angle's okay because i've got a new um, stand because mine completely snapped the other day so i'm hoping no uh, we're all right i'm just, just giving you a little a little view of these pretty faces well uh, i'm chattering on there so no more cindy videos at the moment let's just hope this clothing range come out and we can do another one i will be making cindy clothes as some of you know i already do i don't do the patterns um for you to crochet i'm mainly crochet rather than anything else but what i'm going to be doing at the moment is preparing for dolly Con, uh which is on the 30th of this month i've got so much to do this month i've got my daughter's wedding yet coming up and also dolly con and i've got to make because i have a stall at dolly con so i've got lots to make for dolly con so there is that as well but i think that's about it 
once again thank you for watching hope to see you all very soon got some crochet tutorials coming up and i'll see you all very soon with some more dolly news bye bye for now